Good day. How are you all? Hope you are all doing great. This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about solving for three unknown variables from three equations. So here I go. So we have three equations. Uh, so we'll write them again. X plus 2Y plus Z is equal to 1. Call it equation 1. And then we have 3X minus Y plus 2Z is equal to 13. Call it equation 2. And then 2X plus 3Y minus Z is equal to minus 8. Call it equation 3. So first we will uh, write equation 1 and 3 next to each other. So this is x plus 2y plus z is equal to 1. This is equation 1 and equation 3 is 2x plus 3y minus z equal to minus 8. Equation 3. So if I create some space for myself. Add 1 and 3. That is add both sides of 1 and 3. So I have x plus 2x plus 2y plus 3y plus z minus z is equal to 1 minus 8. Now the z and the z cancels. x plus 2x is 3x. 2y plus 3y is 5y. 1 minus 8. 8 is greater than 1. So from 8 you subtract 1. Answer is 7, but you return the negative sign of the larger number, which is 8, which is negative. Okay. Uh, now we will uh, write, uh, let me change the color of the pen a little bit. Uh, let me go to the CL. Okay. So uh, next step will be to write equation, equation uh, 2. So this is, okay. So equation 2 is, uh, 3x minus y plus 2z equal to 13. So, let's write equation 2. Is 3x minus y plus 2z is equal to 13. Okay. Okay. We will call this equation 4, by the way. Okay. This is equation 2. 3. Already there. Okay. Now, we are, uh, this is uh, equation 2, 3x minus y plus 2z, so I will erase this. This is equation 2. Okay. So, maybe I should change the color of these uh, back to the green color. So, we will this green color. Okay. So this is, uh, let's call this equation four. And let's, uh, this is uh, just for our purpose, we write this is equation three actually. Okay. And then, uh, ah, same mistake. This is equation two. So this is equation 2, 3x minus y plus 2z equal to 13. Then I'm going to multiply. So I'll create some space for myself. Actually, I'll create some space. Multiply both sides of equation 3 by 2 and write it. So... Okay. Mm -hmm. 
multiply equation three by two on both sides on both sides we get two times two is four x plus two times three y is six y minus two times z is two z and then two times minus eight is minus 16 and we will call this uh, just again to make equations have the same color call this equation five. Oh, let me clear that so let me so this is equation five okay now i go back to the yellow pen so add two and five okay let me create some space so we get three three x plus four x minus y plus six y plus two z minus two z is 13 minus 16 or three x plus four x is seven x six y minus y is plus five y this z and this z cancels 13 minus 16 is minus three okay and let's uh, call this uh, equation five uh, equation six so so now we are going to work with equation four and six okay equation four and six okay so let me write it down because we have eliminated z in equations four and equation six also so So we have two equations now. 3x plus 5y equal to minus 7. This is equation 4. And 7x plus 5y is equal to equal to minus 3. And that's equation six, is equation four. So from equation four, we can subtract three X on both sides. So it becomes five Y is equal to minus seven minus three X. Or uh, let's not do it that way. Uh, let's erase this. We will multiply both sides of equation 4 by minus 1. So, when we do that, it becomes minus minus 3x minus 5y is equal to positive 7 because minus and minus is 7. So you can call this equation 7 and then we write the equation 6 which is 7x plus 5y is equal to minus 3. This is equation 6. Add 7 and 6 and six, we get minus three X plus seven X because five Y and minus five Y they're canceled. Seven minus three is four or seven X minus three X, four X equal to four. Now, oops. 
divide by 4 on both sides, we get 4x divided by 4 is equal to 4 divided by 4, which leads to x is equal to 1. Okay, now we can plug in any equation. Let's substitute x equal to 1 in equation 6. So 7 times 1 plus 5y is equal to minus 3. So 7 plus 5y equal to minus 3. Then subtract 7 on both sides. You get 5y is minus 3 minus 7. You add them together but return the negative sign. Divide by 5 on both sides which leads to y equal to minus 2. Okay, so now we need to find first, uh, we'll substitute x1 and y2 in any of the original equation. So let's take a look at the original equation. So uh, let's start with equation 1, which is x plus 2y plus z is equal to 1. So, substitute x equal to 1, y equal to 2 in equation 1, in equation 1. So the equation 1 is uh, x plus 2y plus z equal to 1. So instead of x, we write 1 plus 2 times minus 2 for y plus z equal to 1. And so we have 1, 2 times minus 2 is minus 4, plus z equal to 1. 1 minus 4, 4 is greater than 1. So from 4, you subtract 1 and keep the negative sign of 4. Minus 3 plus z is equal to 1. Then you add 3 on both sides. You get z equal to 4. So what is your final solution? Final solution is written like this. 1, so x is 1, y is minus 2, z is 4, is the solution. Okay. Okay, so I stop here today. If you have any question, comment, write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate that. If you like this video, please share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I will be back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Do not forget to check me out again tomorrow. And please... Uh, Check out all the problems that I've solved all for you in my channel, Math Science Topia. So please subscribe to my channel, Math Science Topia, by hitting the red subscribe button. Take care and have a nice day. I will see you next time.